blue three Toyota transmission. What's up guys, this is James over here. We got uh, Travis and his 2008 Toyota Tacoma. Yep. Cool man. So this thing is very nice man. We've seen this thing ripping. Third year out here, right? Oh, man, I love coming out to Pismo. I've been growing up coming out here. For sure. Started in the quad days and then. What kind of quad did you ride? Were you a Banshee guy or? Uh, no. no. You weren't a drag was, Banshee guy? No, no. My <laughs> uncle's a drag Banshee guy, so I know those guys. I just like a YFZ 450. But oh, right on. I had to retire the couch to step up to the big To board. the big couch. To the big To couch. the lazy boy yeah, couch. Yeah, yeah. We got Brandon here freaking helping us host. They say with age comes a cage, yeah. man. Just a more comfortable couch. Exactly. Pretty much, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude, honestly, I, I rode quads all my life. Probably gonna get a bunch of hate, but you know what? Whatever, guys, all right? Quads aren't that bad. Yeah. You're a drag yeah, benchy guy? Bunch of quads so guys. you were the guy. Mm -hmm. I, it got stolen in Mexico, though. Uh, well, of course it's gonna get stolen in Mexico. I don't know what it is, but I'm Mexican. I don't feel the vibe of, of the drag benchy world, but... I, I would have to say, like, it's culturally, like, Mexican people love drag banshees. I'm just going to go on record and say that. They love mine so much, they took it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, tell us about this thing, man. This thing is, I mean, like, I hear it chirping out, too. But before we even jump into the suspension, what kind of motor do you have in this so thing? So, it's the Toyota 4.0 okay. V6, but uh, I got a supercharger on it. It's Ooh. A URD, uh, supercharger. You hear that? Typical supercharger. And what kind of supercharger? It's, it's a URD, so it's a centrifugal, like, a procharger style. Tell us so, about it, dude. What, what's up with that so we can just pop that yeah out. we're just hopping straight into the motor dude centrifugal spell it it runs off of a pulley right uh, <laughs> we'll sound it out so it almost looks like a turbo but it's belt driven you know nice dude so it's got like eight pounds of boost dude. mild you know I don't dude, that's blow this thing up <laughs> Is this like a bolt-on feature for this truck? Or yeah. did you guys have to like machine stuff? It was a bolt-on feature and then we kind of had to do some custom stuff when we started doing the cage work. We had to kind of customize it a little bit to uh, fit around the, the tube work mm -hmm. and uh, the new intake. Okay. Right on, but dude. Other than that, yeah, it's Toyota stuff. Don't mind this wiring. Right oh, here. dude. Hey, little, dude. You know what? Little, did uh, did you was, did you make it was, out here though? This was no. This was on the last trip uh, out in the desert, and I didn't have time to fix it permanently. <laughs> so dude, okay, I, this is another I, theme, Brandon, that I keep getting out here. Is a lot of us dudes always go like, no, dude, it was just to get out there, and, it, and then last trip of the desert. But guess what? It's still there. It's still working. Yeah. So it works, I guys. The uh, funny thing is, I'm an electrician, so this is like oh shit, oh, <laughs> this is bad. Man. So this <laughs> hurts. Yeah, I'll get it fixed right. You know, All right, we'll okay. Back, we'll do a follow up and be like, hey, we fixed that wiring. For okay. sure, dude. I mean, like I said, I, I hear this thing chirping. Just yeah, so it's got the blow off valve on it, so it sounds pretty nasty. Yeah. Exhaust is loud. <laughs> Freaking so, awesome. And it's super fast, man. Yeah, it goes good for what it is. Um, it helps I have four wheel drive. Yeah. Out in the sand, man, I'm getting all the traction just going. You know, Heck yeah, dude. Heck yeah, dude. Very cool, man. So tell us about this front end, man. So front I see. End, is there like a cross member? No. But, the cage work ties into the cab cage all okay. the way through goes down to the frame and the coil buckets. Okay, right on. It's just a bolt, it's honestly a bolt-on kit by Dirt Designs. Dirt Apple Designs Auto. again. Dirt Designs, man, local, local dude. He's yeah, scared. where are you from, man? I'm from San Francisco. Oh, okay. I actually live in Daly City, which is right outside San okay. Francisco, but I grew up in the Bay Area. Right on. Not a lot of trucks like this up there. I must say that there are some dudes that like, uh, I, we have some dudes that come from up there, but this seems like Pismo's kind of the spot, like where all the NorCal dudes kind yeah. of come down. It's not too bad of a drive. I mean, it's like, depending on the traffic, like yeah. four and a half hours five if it's oh bad. so that's but what dude, we're looking at yeah so we're right in the middle of you guys so okay cool, cool cool i'd love to make some trips down to you guys it's just long yeah. ways you know i'll get out to barstow with you guys or something we'd love to see this thing in glamis have you ever been to glamis i have once it was a long drive man with this thing not with this thing that was before the truck okay back in the quad days in the quad days <laughs> yeah, in the quad couch days so dirt designs kit tell us about this man so it's just a bolt-on kit uh, i just have everything trust um um so it's four-wheel drive two and a half uh, shocks by eight inch stroke. 
three tube bypass, probably like 15 inches of travel because of the four wheel drive I'm limited. The special thing about this is we did a swing set steering which is okay. not a lot of Tacomas have, but Tacomas are known for like weak steering racks. Oh, you okay. Put 35s on the truck and you try and hit some whoops and you're gonna blow that rack out. Oh, really? Yeah, that's like a really big weak point. So that was kind of an expensive upgrade, but it's worth it because I can charge some whoops hard. And so is this like so, bolt on stuff or? No, uh, this is all well done. So there was a kit, Kevin Butts, uh, Wilkie's buddy. Yeah, dude, yeah, yeah, so yeah that's just... our boy, dude. Kevin's hitting it right now, you guys. <laughs> He designed this kit and then we kind of customized it a little bit because you weren't able to run the AC and I'm like, I want some AC. In no, truck. AC's we important. We worked it a little bit so the AC would work. I couldn't be happier with it. The steering feels so good on this truck. Awesome, dude. Very cool, man. So you're still utilizing this stock point right here, yeah, right? Stock and upper, going right off, lower. Going right off this tubular. Right? Bump off the upper. Nice right here. Hitting right on target, yeah. dude. Very good. So it's, you know, people always say it's super important to get this bump to hit right here yeah. at the farthest point out. And this is a 2.0? Yeah, 2.0 shorty, two inch stroke. Right. Right, very cool man so 15 in the front four-wheel drive yep. so this thing's going everywhere I just swapped the transmission okay so it's a turbo 400 transmission I think I might be the only Toyota Tacoma with it wow man and an Atlas transfer case so what, what what's the reason why you're so running the turbo 400 this supercharger and how hard I drive this thing I yeah. blew three Toyota transmissions in a row like three trips in a row three dude you want it done right put a Chevy in it yep. yeah <laughs> <laughs> I was in the shop for a while to adapt the transmission to this motor. Dude, you know what? I don't think I've ever heard of that. I think I'm the only one. So with the Reed's case, it's a maximum okay. uh, transmission. Oh, so nice. the Reed's case, the bell housing unbolts from the transmission itself. Mm -hmm. So so does the Toyota one. Oh, cool. So we did an adapter plate to adapt the Toyota bell housing to the uh, Turbo 400. So it's a Toyota bell housing, yep, and then the actual internals, the shift bands and everything. Are it's, Chevy. A, it's Chevy. And then it's a custom uh, converter to adapt everything. So it's like a 9-inch converter with like a 2500 stall. It's a Franken truck. It, man. I don't, I don't even know what they're saying right now. I'm <laughs> happy Brandon's here because I'm like, oh, okay, hard. cool. I couldn't be happier, man. It's so much fun. Yeah, I'm sure the reliability for that transmission yeah, is just going to Now I can beat on it. I can just hold it wide open, just grab the gears. You know, Hell yeah, dude. Open. Oh, and then uh, hubs in the front. What are you running? It's just stock hubs because it's four wheel drive stock um, hubs I okay put, uh, arp extended uh um lugs okay studs cool cool and so you're running some methods some methods yeah nice dude. Inch tires. nice nice those are our homies very cool man how, how have those been holding down they've been good man beadlocks uh you are, are you beating them yeah are you beating those rims yeah well what psi do you normally run uh out in the sand i run it pretty low i'm like 15 in the front 10 in the back and you're jumping and doing I'm all this jumping, stuff yeah some of us have the simulated beadlock but yeah. you know it still works, you looks. know? The bead look. I like that. <laughs> the bead look. The bead look. <laughs> so let's check out the back, dude. This is so dang clean, dude. All so this, dude. It still dude. has oh the bed gosh. and everything. Uh, we just kind of notched it out to fit the shocks. This then... is totally linked, man. This is... Yeah, so uh, it's a three-link setup with a pan hard. Okay. Um, still has the stock. So the pan hard is this thing that goes... It's the cross piece, yeah. The cross piece. It's like a track bar. Okay. Um, and, and, and that purpose is to make sure it's not it shifting, shift right? It yeah, okay. side to side. And so the reason we did that is uh, I wasn't planning on linking it. I was planning on doing like a Deaver kit with some with the bypasses. Weren't we all just wanting to just Deavers and bypasses, but then... Then I got talked into this, and they're like, hey, we can do this kit. Uh, oh, we stock, can do, uh, does, stock, does that sound stock, familiar, guys? We could do this, stock fuel tank, <laughs> you know, and, and you know, you know, save some money. I don't have to get a fuel cell. We'll trust the rear end so we don't have to get a nine inch and blah, blah, blah. So kind of, and, and so it begins. So, it begins. so the <laughs> snowball begins. Yep, exactly. That's, That's wild, the story dude. of this truck. It's but, like snowball effect, like you know daily, what, dude, it's, daily it's, driver it's a to, common story, bro. to trailering it to the dunes. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. crazy, dude. Crazy. Well, dude, this is so clean, man. Oh, and you still have the stock gas tank. Yeah, stock gas tank. So that's what's why it's three links. So uh, okay. it has the, the three link right here. Okay. Uh, the upper link. Yeah, there it is. And then the there. pan hard. Um, and Way then, across the back. Yeah, across the back. So it eliminates having the upper for the four links. So you right, can right. Put the gas tank over there. So um, your drive shaft. It had to be modified because of the transmission. Right. Um, but it okay. is like a... But other than that, is it stock? It's stock. It looks stock, they dude. Just, they just shortened it. Yeah, that's awesome, man. Uh, I mean, those, those are usually the first things yeah, to go. Yeah, shortened it, yeah. So, so, so you just had the adapter on there. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. With this kit, we actually get like one inch, one inch or a little bit less of plunge with the stock drive shaft. It's strapped at like 24 inches of travel. Oh, dang, okay. Which is enough because I only got like 15 in the front. So yeah. it does everything well, you know? Well, well you know... 
It's not. It's not the size. It's the stroke. You know. It's you dial easy. in that 15 inches, dude, and uh, you know the 15 inches is very capable very, with yeah. with the bypass and all the whole setup in the front. It surprises me every trip. You know, I drive it a little harder and harder every time, and I'm you know surprised on how capable it is. Very cool, man. And I mean, like, let's take a look at this rear because this is this is epic, man. Yeah. I mean, you still got the bed. Still got the bed. Uh, what's cool about these Toyotas? It has a little inverter with a 120 outlet. Oh, and you can't still hooked up. Still Heck hooked yeah. up. I barely use it but it's there oh that's awesome uh, dude this is a lifesaver yeah, dude this so is i mean i, I need I, that you know if I'm, I'm camping or whatever i'm not gonna lie i think i'm probably more stoked about that yeah. and we're done that's a wrap oh. no just yeah, kidding right? <laughs> so back here pretty simple um i have an oil cooler and a trans cooler okay uh just because i'm worried with the supercharger and right over there with i don't want to get too hot um right over there Okay. I have dual cast cans because I only have the stock tank. This is probably the only Toyota that has bad gas mileage. You know oh, okay. I mean? so right, right. Any upgrades in the future with that, with another gas tank? One day I'll probably put a fuel cell in it, a big fuel cell and a big rear end in it. You know, you know I've heard people even putting like another stock gas tank. Oh, really? Yeah, I like even just putting it, it yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but no, and then it keeps you street legal. Yeah. So that's well, cool. And you got your safe craft, fire extinguisher, yeah, very important. Yeah. Um, uh, Cool, other light cool, bar back there. Other cool thing is, we'll do this. So under this tire, I have a little storage box. It's kind of hidden. It, a lot of people think it's a fuel cell, but no. So I got- Oh dang, dude. So dual batteries back here, compressor, and a, tank. 150 shot of nitrous. Yeah, right that's my nitrous. <laughs> <laughs> that's the supercharger wasn't enough. That's the nitrous, you know. Dude, but, uh, your Vin Diesel nitrous yeah, in here. Yeah. So wait, what is this? So I have an air locker in this thing right now. Okay. So I, uh, air locker. Air locker. You school me. So it's an open diff, and so when I put the air locker in with the new gears, I can lock the the rear end. So you know, I get the posy on the dirt. Dude, science, I can, I can, dude. I can unlock it when I'm on There's the street. There's like a you know? spring pack, right? And, it, it, and when you turn the air on, does it like yeah, compress so, it? Yeah, Yeah, it compresses it. So this is like the solenoid, and then this line goes out into the rear end. It's like a rock crawler thing, but really, I so is like, this what, old technology? Like yeah, kind of. It's like the old school stuff. But see, I, and I'm over here like that Jackie Chan meme. Like, like what? I don't even. What's nice about is you can unlock it so like when you're on the street you know you're not getting the chirp and stuff going around the corners dude that is you know so I mean? cool so, I'm, I'm sorry i'm like super amazed right yeah, now this, i got my tools strap whatever so i mean this is all cool but i mean this that's, hey, that's you know i mean well the cool thing about this plug right here is that you could plug like a, a curler or a hair straightener so yeah, if your girlfriend girl wants girlfriend. to use it that was my first thought i'm like oh my gosh i wonder <laughs> if you yeah. use a straightener there. Get some <laughs> first thing or she is like okay cool i yeah. get to straighten my hair back here so it looks like we're gonna be getting a new truck guys for for the fam that's a must all right let's check it out dude I, i'm stoked and it's cool how quick this tire comes off yeah usually everybody's like pulling a growing and and compressing a disc or something or you could leave it off yeah <laughs> Leave it off right now, I'll put it back later. But Very cool. If you want to check out the uh, cab cages done. Yeah, let's nice, check so it out, man. Let's check it out. We and, and we're stoked, man. We we got Travis right before he was about to leave I right now. Up, I got a good drive home, so yeah, dude. Oh, we're, we're, do thank you trailer. so much. It's not broken, nothing, you know. Okay. So we're going home. What kind of glass is on this thing? It's fiberworks. Fiberworks? Yeah. Nice, dude. Try tire. tires trying to get away, huh? Yeah, so four PRP seats. So oh my god, it. look at this thing. Dude, the so is clean. The, is, the, is the headliner, so it's a, just aluminum bead rolled. Uh, Dang, dude. And then we wrapped it in suede, and then we put like a foam on the top so it doesn't get the vibration. So, super clean. Uh, so foam, so foam on the top, uh, yeah, so suede. So it takes away the vibration and then it just insulates the truck real well. Okay. Wow, dude. I just have to just appreciate the inside of this thing. It is epic, man. Look, I'm eventually going to go like super luxury with it. You know, that was the plan. I still, eventually, I still, he's going to go carpet, super luxury. Like, I have no carpet. I have no carpet or nothing. So I want to get like, that was the game plan. Dude, this want. is luxury, dude. It this is, is luxury, like, oh, dude, yeah, this is. I mean, dude, uh, have you seen some of our friends' trucks? Like, dude, like, it's, 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 it's like our trucks are like jungle gyms, dude. Like, you know, like, a, what can I not, like, what can I get chopped up yeah, in your right. wood? But this is so clean, man. Absolutely freaking awesome, man. Arshia, you got to take a look at that. You gotta, I know, take a look at that. Very cool. Let's check out the check front. Out the, check out the you got these lights right here, dude. Yeah. Dang, man. Old Amazon LEDs right there. Heck yeah, dude. What kind of uh, PRP seat is this? I think they're the podiums. Podiums? Yeah. Okay. You got your cage stand. Look at all these space right here, yeah, too. So those are the sticks for the um, for the four-wheel drive, so I can okay. go high and low. Nice. Um, 
Nice, Stay dude. For the new transmission. So clean. Got the big old mirror. Big old mirror. Very Man, cool. It just checks out the people in the back seat. Yeah, you see, like, how you guys doing back <laughs> yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> see, see their face on you. Dude, and I love, I you know what? I'm, uh, I love the stock dash. Yeah, I mean, this is such a bitch in dash, anyways. Why, why take it out, right? Yeah, this exactly. Is... I was like, just leave it, make it factory looking, you know. But... Dude, epic, dude. Absolutely love this thing. So, I'm sorry, I don't know if I missed it. AC works still? AC works, yeah. <sighs> oh, dude. yeah. This guy's living the dream, dude. One day he says luxury, everybody is like, oh my God, this thing is bad. Yeah, yeah. Well, very cool, man. So any other plans with this other than uh, you said, um, possibly change the rear? Yeah, so the last trip out, I I blew the rear end on it. Okay. So I'm probably gonna have to put a nine inch in it eventually. Okay. Uh, just the cost, it's expensive. You know, it so is, I just, it I, is. And I rebuilt that rear end and just saving money for for a big old nine inch on it. But right, right. So dude, Dirt Designs absolutely killed it on this yeah, thing, man. Yeah. I couldn't be happier I mean, with everything. Dude, Dirt Design seems to be killing everything out here, man. These guys hold it down for yeah. the Central Coast guys, man. Well, very cool, man. Well, Travis, thank you so much, man. Um, I don't think there's anything else we missed, dude. What are these, 35s? 35s. 35s? Yeah. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, right. man.